Good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time. Good morning guys. It's 11, 12 a.m. and um, I'm about to, I'm going to make a lentil loaf. I know you heard me say in my other videos that um, it's been a long time since I had lentil loaf and um, yeah, I keep procrastinating and not doing it. You know, it's a, it takes a little time, not much little time a little bit of time so um of course you need lentil it's a lentil loaf so you need lentils so i'm gonna use a whole pound lentil and a lentil loaf is like a meatloaf i'm vegan if it's your first time i'm vegan if you've been here before you know that um yes yeah, so the key ingredient is lentil um then we need the holy trinity or some people call it they have a name for it but the holy trinity if that's what you call it it's celery celery onion and guys i don't have fresh carrots so i took some carrot from the freezer and they're in water in a bowl and i have these little baby carrot that you can see there's some ice on this one you can tell that i just took it out of the freezer um so we have carrots onion and um celery put them together holy trinity so I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to cut up some bell pepper because remember, this is not, it's going to taste like it's meat. It's vegan meat. But instead of the artificial stuff that they use and all, we're going to use this. It's going to look just like a meatloaf, guys. Some of you might look at it and say, wow, that looks like a meatloaf. Some of you might say it don't look like a meatloaf. I don't care. It tastes yummy. So even if you're a meat eater and you're trying to not eat meat all the time, you can make this on a meatless Monday. So that's what I'm about to do. But like I said, it's 11 now, 14. So first I'm going to eat some oats. This is oats with apple, dates. Um, remember guys, I was on the Daniel fast. If you've been here before, you know I was on the Daniel fast. And this is how I was eating. I dropped 13 pounds in three weeks. And so this is a Daniel fast meal. It's an apple in here. Almost a whole apple. Two dates. And just oats with cinnamon and vanilla um vanilla is not a path of the daniel fast and you know i'm not really on the daniel fast i'm gonna get on it um on the 20th and do it for um until my birthday so what is that almost two weeks like 13 days so um i'm gonna do the daniel fast but if, this is daniel fast approved if the vanilla wasn't in it because vanilla have a little alcohol so that's the only thing that's not making it um daniel fast approved um and if you don't know what daniel fast is look at my other video i was on the daniel fast and lost weight so yeah it's a good cleansing cleanse for the body so i'm gonna have this i'm also gonna make some coffee i think i'm gonna go with decaf because or should i you know what let's go with regular coffee because i'm gonna go for a walk guys it's very warm outside so before we make our lentil loaf i'm gonna put the, the lentil after it this have to cook so i can't even um put it together um and show you right now so i'm gonna put it on it's gonna boil on the stove lentil cook pretty quick guys it, it will be done in 20 minutes um so while i eat breakfast drink coffee and watch a little tv it will be cooking but the magic of this camera of television of videoing i'll be back like this for you guys so let me rinse this i'm gonna put it in a strainer and um, I'm going to rinse it in a strainer so I don't lose it because, as you can see, they're tiny. And you're going to add them all over the sink if you don't do that. So um, let's rinse this, put it on. While it's cooking, I'm going to prep my um, breakfast. I'm going to warm my breakfast up. Let's put this in the microwave. Um, you know I shouldn't do that, guys, because this is not glass. I'm going to put it in a bowl. So... Um, I'm all over the place. And when you come to get to know me, I know that about myself. I'm, all, I'm talking about the oats. I'm talking about the lentils. I'm doing everything at the same time. But, um, okay. Let's do one thing at a time, right? <laughs> Let's rinse our lentils and put it on. And not be all over the place. Maybe driving you crazy. Or maybe you're used to me. Or maybe you're like that. I don't think I'm the only one. 
fish. It would not more than one thing at a time. And I heard that it's a waste of time. That's what I heard. When you do stuff like that, you're wasting time. So, get some water in the pot for a lentil. You don't have to put a lot, guys, as long as the water, you know, because it's going to be cooking for only 20 minutes. Well, 30 minutes because the water is not hot. So that's going to boil. And then after, after, um, you know, put a little bit of water and um, keep an eye on it. Stove is on. Lentil going in the strainer. Usually use a bigger strainer, but this is the one I reach for, so I can move it around more. But this seems pretty clean. There's nothing in it. The water is running clean. It's gonna get hot, so if there's anything <laughs> bacteria, anything will kill it. You know, don't worry. So the lentil is washed, and this is what they look like. If you've never used lentil before, I know some people, are, come on girl, I know what lentils look like. No, not everybody use lentils. I didn't use lentils until I came to this country. I didn't use lentils in Jamaica, so. And a matter of fact, I never used to eat lentils until I became vegan, so I've been using lentils now for six years. Okay. And I'm about to be 50. Whoa. Oh, what's wrong with this? Let's switch burners. This burner is acting up. Let's move it, turn that off, and switch it over here. Yeah, we don't have time for the drama that this um, burner is causing. I guess the top on it is not on right. I'll fix it in a minute. Let it cool down a little because the stove is on. Yeah, but I'll fix that. So, the lentil is on. Um, I treat it just like meat. So, whatever you put on your meat is going to go in the lentil loaf. Oh, and you can add um, some... This is different from meat. So, you can add cranberry. But I think you could do that if you choose to. Because don't people have cranberry sauce? They like turkey or a mint jelly with um, lamb. So, I guess you can do that in your... I, I, I don't recommend it. But if you want to, you can put um, cranberry in your beef beef meatloaf this one is gonna have cranberries in it like you know dry cranberries i'm gonna chop them up and put it so um i'm gonna also put some mushroom you can put um what you call it walnuts also i don't think i think i'm finally out of walnuts i'm gonna check the pantry but cranberries walnuts the trinity you know the celery onion and carrots some bell pepper and spices you know, so you treat it just like meat. So if you put um, steak, you can put steak seasoning, whatever, because steak seasoning is actually vegan. It's just seasoning, herbs and stuff. It's not um, actually beef. So whatever you put in your beef or chicken, whatever you want to put, you know, whatever seasoning, I'm definitely going to use some um, sea salt. Definitely, definitely garlic powder and fresh garlic. I forgot to mention that. But we're going to use some garlic in there. Add some salt free, no salt seasoning, so I don't use too much of this um, the sea salt. But guys, use sea salt, don't buy that stuff for a dollar, don't be cheap with your salt, please. Because that blood pressure is out here killing us. us. I'm not picking on you, I'm including myself. Um, black pepper, <clears throat> and guys, with the onion and celery and carrots and the cranberry it's gonna be and bell pepper that's a lot of flavor right there so just this the salt pepper garlic is good and this is lots of um other spices so there's plenty of spices that's going in there um i'm also gonna have some parsley so this is gonna be very tasty if you're using your imagination you know with all of this it's gonna be tasty 
So yeah, that's what's going on for now. The lentil has to be cooked before I can show you the process. Cook and cool. So I think the plan is after it cooked, leave it open, switch the burner so it's it, you know, maybe even take it out. I'm gonna take it out of the pot because the pot is gonna stay hot, hot. So I'm gonna um put it in a bowl or something, let it cool down. And guys, I'm going for a walk because the temperature is really nice out today. So let's do breakfast and while it digests, I'll cut up the veggies, rest them in the refrigerator while it's cool, go for a walk. And um, yeah, it's gonna be in the 50s today. Let's check with Alexa and see what it is right now. Alexa, what is the temperature outside? Right now, it's 48 degrees, guys. February. February, 48 degrees at 11 in the morning, 11.23. Okay, I need to get food inside me. So, we see in a little bit when we don't drink my coffee, eat my yummy oats. I'm going to be so full, guys. Look how, look how much oats is there. It's heavy. Um, yeah, but it's a lot of nutrition, so I'm excited to eat that because it's going to taste good. It's going to feel man of me to lose weight. So, all the good stuff. All right, so I'll be back when I get everything together. All right, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Breakfast is finished, and the lentils are finished cooking. Um, me, I'm going to switch it to a bowl, so let me show you what it looked like. Um, you're not making soup, so you want it to be, you see what it looked like? All the water has dissolved. If I was making soup, I'd have filled the pot with water and, you know, because soup. But since this is going to be like ground beef, it has to be like this. And like I said, it cooked pretty quickly, guys. I put a little bit of water above and all the water dissolved. It cooked and all, the, and they plump up. As you can see, they're not as tiny as they were. They're three times the size. Um, so I'm transferring them to this bowl so they can cool down so I can, the same way you would do with um, ground beef and season, when you put your seasoning and your um, veggies or whatever you put in your meatloaf, <coughs> Is the same way you're gonna do this and um, I know in meatloaf people use egg I'm not gonna use egg in mine to keep it together to keep the beef together I'm gonna use some oat flour this is oats guys and when I say oat flour it's just oats there's no salt there's no baking powder nothing it's just oat I made it myself I took this oats here roll oats right and i put it in the blender oat flour that's it and you can use that to make dessert so guys we don't have to stop eating anything right we can use oat flour and we make pancakes we can make um cakes put in whatever you want to make you can use oat flour trust me did it um so we don't have to go back and eat flour which is a struggle for all of us i know for me the struggle but anywho that's what's going in there to bind it together oat flour so i'm gonna put that after it cool down let's put it in the bowl because remember i'm going to my walk so it will be at the right temperature by the time i get back it's a lot guys i'm wondering if i should use the whole thing or i should save some of this because i also can save some and um um, you know, make something else. Save some and maybe add a little veggies and make a little soup. I could do that. But I think I'm going to use the whole thing because um, it's not even get every bit out. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking it out of the pot because the pot is going to stay hot for a while and I want this to cool down so I can, you know, make the loaf. The lentil loaf. So... Yeah, here it is. So it's going to cool down in here. And then I'm going to combine it with all the stuff that I talked to you about earlier. So that's lentil cooling. I think I'm going to give it about two hours. It's 12 now. I'll go six. I'm going to give it until two o'clock. Um, before I leave out, I'll um, give it a stir to... um you know, spin it around so the underside will also 
I'm wondering if I should start putting the seasoning in. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that while it's hot. Maybe it will absorb, you know, um, the flavor even more. So here we go with the parsley, dry parsley. Like I said, I don't measure stuff. Very rare. Sometimes I do. Very rarely I, I'll do that. I just eyeball it. I don't know if you guys use that word. And I love veggies and I love herbs. These things are good for you guys. So don't be shy. This is the saltless. This is just a bunch of... I'm not going to get into it, guys. It's like dry parsley. All kind of, you know, herbs. We know herbs, right? So it's salt-free. There's no salt. So this, because it has all... It has tons. Uh, guys, maybe over 20 different herbs and spices. So um, I got it in Costco. If you guys shop at Costco and want to try it. And what it does, it gives the food flavor. But it, you're still going to need salt. It just give it um, flavor, um, you know, to make it taste good. Fla that's what flavor does. But if you don't have the salt, then you don't even really taste the flavor. The salt pull things together. Salt always. When you're baking, even if you don't want to use a lot, a pinch goes a long way. Because the salt, a, a little pinch of salt... Um, we'll pull everything together, you know, with all of this. So again, I just eyeball it. And because there's no salt, I don't worry about how much I'm putting. So I'm going to put about um, a tablespoon, might even be more. Love garlic. <laughs> I'll put like two tablespoons in there. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. But I love it. I'm going to put a lot of pepper as well. About um, a tablespoon, maybe a little dash more than a tablespoon. So we got all that. Oh, let's not forget. I keep it in the refrigerator because it's a big bottle, and I don't want it to um, um, spoil its cumin. So, and you know these things are not cheap. So, um. Again, let's eyeball that. And this is very flavorful, so you don't need that much. That's what it looked like. I think I got this at Costco as well. Um, yeah. I get a lot of stuff at Costco, guys, because it's cheaper. Yeah. So, I think it, the warmth of this, the beans, will kind of wake up the seasoning and this is going to be very flavorful guys and if i was um say eating something i could just scoop out some of this and put on the side because it's not raw ground beef it's cooked it's just beef so i could actually put this on a plate right now and just eat it if i'm eating say i was hungry and i have some rice i would definitely just put this with the rice and eat it right now so but i'm gonna make a lentil loaf because you guys want to have options right you wanna, if you're a vegan and you never made it before, this is how you do it. So if you wanna pause the video, if you have lentils, and you don't know what to make for dinner. And even if you're not vegan, meatless Monday, or it's Monday today actually. And um, if, um, and it's cheap guys. You know how much money for good ground beef? Not shitty ground beef, good ground beef. You can end up paying like $6.99 a pound. If you're buying the good one, not the one for $3.99, that's a lot of fat and garbage and then how much you're gonna need for meatloaf for your family right you're gonna need like three pounds right if you have a family of like six because we want leftovers <laughs> so um you would buy like three pounds we're talking about or even if you buy two and a half pounds three pounds three times 6.99 you're talking about 21 dollars so and a bag of beans is how much 2.49 used to be 99 cents by the way i don't know what happened and look at all this this is like the equal amount you get in three pounds. So think about that. $2.49 and $21. You guys don't realize. And you still have to use the same seasoning I just use in this that you'd use in the beef. So if you're on a budget, take care of your family. This, this is good for the heart instead of the beef. Um, or if you don't want to do this, you can use ground turkey. I wouldn't use beef. I switch. I stopped using beef a long time ago. Long time. I haven't used ground beef. I use um, ground turkey um, when I used to make, um, you know, before I became vegan. 
but now we're doing so it's season you're meat to season <laughs> so um yeah so now we're gonna cut up the veggies um like i told you i told you what i had before i'm not gonna do it again we're gonna add some of this when i come back combine everything we have a little pack of um dry cranberry i'm also gonna cut this up first and put it in there because the the warmth you know these are kind of dry you feel it's gonna cook but the warmth will wake it up too and we'll have a little bit of sweet every time you eat it you won't really taste the cranberry because it's such small amount and it's a lot um you won't really taste it but it will it trust me you'll taste it but you won't it. you know what i mean like you won't have that big piece of sweet cranberry but you will just be enjoying it and this is gonna put it um you know add to the flavor of it so i'll come back when you know i see you when i see you guys but i'm coming back to show you what's going on i don't know if i'm going to show you the veggies i'll show you the veggies when i cut them up and then i'm going to take the walk and we're going to come back and put everything together and and make the meatloaf and then i'm going to let it cool down and i think i'll save it put it in the refrigerator because that will help um solidify it and make it come together and make it easy to cut um, when I um, cut it so I'll just put it in the refrigerator and I'll eat it tomorrow I won't eat it so you'll see the set I'll you know make potato and veggies and show you the whole shebang but um, today I'll just have what my husband made yesterday for me he made me some aki I don't know if you guys know what aki is if some of you don't know you can look it up you make me some aki it's a Jamaican um, fruit I grow on the tree you take it off you cook it it's a yeah fruit cook it with the tomato onions pepper um yeah and a little olive oil and then you eat it with you can eat it with rice you can eat it with dumplings um you can eat yam and banana i'm not eating any dumplings because i'm trying to stay away from flour and it's the reason why i make my own flour because i want i don't want to use the white flour i really just want to give that up but it's not easy because i ate bread the other day that make with white flour um my husband we bought 12 of these bread that we like at costco and he's been tearing it up he's been eating it i promised myself i would not have more than two i already have one and i'm not gonna lie to you i'm gonna have the other one guys i'm honest here i'm not saying you have to give up everything completely but you need to give up 90 percent of the shit you know we're always going to eat 10 percent. but when i start my daniel fast the 20th until my birthday I'm not eating none of those things. You know what I mean? And I'm still trying not to. As you see this morning, I had my oats, old food. I didn't have any bread or whatever. And I'm going to make me a huge salad after I finish doing this. After my walk and I finish making this loaf, I'll make myself a nice salad. And of course, I'm going to be drinking water. Actually, very thirsty right now. I should get me some water. So let me show you the bread. And I'll be right and then I'll come back and let me show you the bread that's a problem for me right now <laughs> this is the bread I'm talking about guys it's so good see that and it was 12 in there so and there's only five so I only ate one who ate the other if this is five and I eat one who ate six not me my husband <laughs> yes guys so i'm trying you know because i could have done the same thing the bag could have been empty if i eat one every day like him but um let's get some water out of fail um yeah but i'm not doing that oh i took this down just now to show you guys put this in the pan when you're putting your loaf in and then when it's time to take the loaf out i think let it sit in the fridge cool down sit in the fridge in the pan and the next time you just want to use the um pick it up with the parchment paper and put it on a plate and because it was sitting overnight and the oats that's going to hold it together getting cold in the fridge help hold it together all of that it will just cut like a regular piece of meatloaf it won't be crumbly because i know someone is already thinking are you going to get that to slice like drop some on the floor are you going to get this to slice like the um like a meatloaf but you'll see okay so if you use this in the pan then you can just pick it up out of the pan with the paper get rid of the pan and have your loaf you can wrap it in a piece of fat and keep in the refrigerator slice or you can slice up and put it in a long you know slice them and put some in a bowl you can also freeze it 
if you're not going to finish, you know you're not going to finish it and you don't want it to go bad, you can also um, freeze it. You can also cut a thin slice and make a sandwich um, with it. You can put it in wrap. You can actually cut a slice off and put in the pot. You can eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, guys. Put in the pot and mix it up with some fresh onion. Cook it up with some fresh onion. Like, saute the onion first because you're just warming that. Your lentil meat. Your meat. You're just warming it up. You put it in a wrap. There goes breakfast. So you can have it all day. Sometimes for me, I get a touch of something if it tastes good. So I love it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, and I'm not going to let that go bad. You know, it's good food. So I'll be eating it up. Hopefully my husband will have some because he's not really into the vegan thing. He likes when I make barbecue cauliflower. I haven't made that in a while, so I'm going to um, make that too one of these days for him. All right, guys. So I'll see you in a bit. The soon come. Okay, guys. So I'm back. This is the veggies, the um, green bell pepper, green bell pepper. Carrots, as you can see, it's obvious. Onions and um, celery, right? Um, you saw when I seasoned the, the lentils um, with the spices. And um, what you didn't see that I put salt in it. I put a tablespoon and a half, but then after I combine everything, I'm going to taste it and see if I need to put any more. Because you don't want to overdo it with the salt. That's why I use so much spices to... You know, and all of this are going to give you flavor as well. But since it's so much veggies and so much meat, I might need more. But I didn't want to just dump a whole tablespoon on it and then make it too salt because we'll take care of our health. Even though I'm using um, good quality salt, we still have to be careful. I'm going to put it in here. This is where you put your beef, right? Your meatloaf. So I'm putting my lentil loaf. Same thing. You know, um, yeah. You can also saute this at a time if you want, guys. I'm just going to put it in there. It's going to cook for an old hour, so it will be fine. But if you saute this, say, today, and make the lentil loaf and let it cool down, refrigerate it, and then um, combine it with the meatloaf, it only enhances the flavor. As days go on, this is just going to taste better. You know, so it's best that I'm eating it tomorrow because it's going to just taste as the days goes on, it's going to taste better. So tomorrow it's going to taste even better. So you remember what I did. I cooked the lentils. I just put enough water in top, let it cook because you don't, it take, it cooks so quick. If you put too much water, it's going to be um, like soup. So don't put too much water. Just put it right above. Set a timer if you have to, so you don't forget. Guys, it smells like meat because seasoning is what make meat. Meat doesn't have smell, right? It just smells raw. So it's the seasoning that you put on the meat that give it the flavor. So it's the same thing with the lentil. It smells like meat. So, yeah. So it's, um, um, I just saw this in the camera. <laughs> it's, um, the lentil season, season. This is about equal, like maybe three pounds of, um, ground beef, but a fraction of the cost. So yeah, we're going to combine the veggies. And my hands, as you can see, they're still wet because I washed them. Because you don't want to be touching your vegetables with dirty hands. And it, I'm going to combine it with my hands, guys. So, yeah. And remember, it's going to stick together with the oat flour. And this is a lot of veggies and beans. Lots of protein. It's just good all around. Let me bring this closer and see if I can bring it down. So you can see what I am doing. Um, can you see? Not really. Let's bring it down a little bit more. But you, 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 you know what I'm doing. You get the gist of the whole thing. But if you want to see, here we go. There we go. Okay. So now that I touch the camera, let's. Just give our hands a quick rinse because our hands are going in there. Our fingers are going in. Mother Nature spoon. <laughs> Pardon my big backside. Yeah, so. Yes, guys. Here we go. I'm going to combine it with our hands. Their fingers. a lot. I think I'm going to have two loaves. If 
you see this and you want it, I'll give you the other one. If you're, you know, you want it and you're in New York. I'm in Queens. <laughs> I'll give you a loaf if you want it. Other than that, I'll just freeze it. And um, I'll bring my friends some, of course. Bring some dinner for one of my friends. Um, if I make it to your house. I know if you're watching this, you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Guys, it smells so good. Look. It smells so good. I possibly need some salt and guys um I'm gonna need a little bit of liquid what I usually do is put sugar-free um, barbecue sauce because you need something you know egg would be wet um, this is not wet enough we well, don't want to do it at a time you can even cook it a little bit um, I'm gonna put all of this you can even cook it a little bit um, wet you know even though it was a little wet when I first started and absorb and they get plump and bigger than they were. And also, if it's a little undercooked, it's fine because, um, you know, cook for old hour. So, yeah. All right. So, um, I'm trying to make this as healthy as possible. So, I don't want to put any. Um, see, see, guys, it's coming together. So, look at that. It's coming. It's not fully because it's. It's not, you know, there's no, nothing in it. I'm going to put a little olive oil. I'm trying to make it as healthy as possible, so I didn't want to put any. You don't have to put the olive oil. <clears throat> and you can just put some water, and because of the oats, and it's sitting, I'm going to let it sit in the pan for a while before I even put it in the oven. Look at this. So when it cook, it's going to come together. And that's how you get the, the, the loaf. See that? Yeah. But yes, you need a little bit of um, water to activate the oatmeal because remember the oatmeal is dry. So yeah, but the carrots and the veggies, they have um, these and onions and stuff. They have liquid in them. So because the carrot was in the freezer, remember? I told you I didn't have any. So any fresh one so I use the frozen one make it work guys use what you have don't stress yourself about stuff if you don't have bell pepper you can still do this I would definitely say don't do it without the onions because you know onions give you stuff flavor um, but listen anything that you don't have here don't let it stop you as long as you have the lentil and you have some salt black pepper and garlic powder you're good if you don't have cranberry, fine. If you don't have onions, it's still going to taste good. But it, the onion, or you can replace it with scallion if you have scallion. But if you don't have carrots, it's fine. But guys, the more I mix, it's coming together. Look at this. See what I'm saying? So when you cook, you know how oatmeal go. How oatmeal get. So I'm going to put very little olive oil. Swish. You know, olive oil is not bad for you if you don't overdo it. It's only bad when you overdo it because it's very high calories. All oil, all oils are high in calories. So, but the more I do this, is the more the the water from the frozen carrots and the other veggies is activating the oatmeal. So it's coming together. I'm gonna put very, very little water. And um, a little bit of olive oil, which is gonna just help help it bind together. See that much water? Because we're not trying to have it smush mushy. So that's enough. You don't have to put olive oil in there, and I'm contemplating should I? But I'm going to put a little bit. little bit remember this is not one serving so if you put two tablespoons of olive oil it's not like you're eating two tablespoons of olive oil all at once you know what I mean it's gonna spread out in the in the meal I'm 
I'm contemplating do I need to add any more salt to it or should just leave it alone because like I said this is flavorful and we have to put on our big girl baggies panties baggies drawers whatever you call it and eat what's good for us and not worry about um <clears throat> You know about salt and stuff and guys if you put some if you have i have downstairs but i'm i don't have it here with me and i'm not gonna go get it salary powder the salary you know dehydrated and grind up if you put some salary powder it to make it kind of taste salty yeah so but i put some I didn't put a whole bunch but i put some in there okay let's try this Remember, it's not raw meat, so you can try it. Everything in here is safe to eat. Mmm. 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 Guys. So good. Oh, my God. I swear. And it's not even cooked. You can imagine when this is cooked and all the flavor from the onion is released. The sweetness from the carrot. Oh, God. Guys. This was a good idea to make this today. Um, I'm excited. The water and the oil bring it together as you can see. And you know, when you pat it down in the pan and everything come together, it's gonna cook, it's gonna bind. I'm gonna let it sit and cool. I'm gonna refrigerate it. Oh my God, this is so good. I'm gonna refrigerate it. So it's gonna, tomorrow, I'm gonna have a good dinner. Hopefully my husband will well, you know what? It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Maybe I'll get him a steak. You maybe don't want this, but while he's eating a steak, I'll be eating my lentil though. All right, so guys, I'll be back. So guys, align it with parchment paper like I told you. Not wax paper, parchment paper. <clears throat> and then you just pack it in. It will come together on its own. Just pack it in. I haven't made this in so long and I, I, I'm asking myself just now when I taste it like why because I have so much lentil in my pantry and I always have veggies and I'm kind of a little bit annoyed like why haven't you been making this yeah. you have all that lentil vegetable meat I call it meat because I don't eat beef and chicken and all of that you have all that and it takes a little time, but the same way or you would be seasoning up the the the, um, the ground beef. No different. You know. I'm gonna be doing this more. I'm gonna get back on track, guys. Because like I said, this is how I eat. So I used to. And then I just fell off the wagon. And remember, you can make it without the olive oil but it's like two tablespoons and you're gonna eat you know it's okay to have one tablespoon with a meal and this is gonna be several meals so looks like it's gonna all fit in there whatever don't fit I'll just put it in a little make a little you know you can also make these in little balls like meatball freeze them right <clears throat> yeah that's what i forgot to tell you too you can make this and let it sit in the freezer so say you're making it for christmas you can put it in this pan just like i'm doing flip this over cover it up with a piece of foil and let it sit there right and the night before Christmas, the night before you cook it, you take it out from the freezer and put it in the refrigerator so it can start to defrost. And then so you can make it a week in advance. Because you know how the holidays get. You get busy. And you have so much. We cook several dishes. And we don't have time to, um, you know. Yeah, I'm going to get all of it in there first. And we don't have time to do everything so you can make this ahead of time you can refrigerate it three four days you don't even have to freeze it yeah um i think freezing it 
will give you longer shelf time though because um you know it like stop the process of it going bad then if it's sitting in the refri refrigerator but i could make this tonight and make, um put it in the refrigerator now and um just cook it tomorrow so i'm just saying you can pre make this yeah so when you're making your meals on sunday some people make a lot of meals on sunday so because they are working during the week this is one that you can make for me this monday and then you come home you stick it in the oven or make it the day before and when you come home you just slice a piece and warm it up and make yourself some potatoes or just two slices of veggies if you're um trying to you know lose weight and potato is good for you guys potato is good for your brain don't be afraid of carbs because this is a lot of carbs there's plenty of protein but um this is a carb meal carbs are good for you <laughs> good for your brain prevent al alzheimer's by eating your carbs guys your brain need it okay all food groups are good for you don't cut nothing out protein everything is good for you <clears throat> because even though i don't eat uh, meat i still try to get my protein matter of fact i left something downstairs my edamame roasted edamame yeah i want to eat some of that because give you 14 um grams of protein i think it's only 110 calories yeah we need all food groups even the oil but sometimes when you're trying to drop weight it's good to cut back on the oil you know what i mean but white flour and white sugar is never good for you leave those alone okay to wash but i'm gonna take my walk first i don't want nothing to distract me from my walk i'm gonna put this in the oven and go for my walk so here here it is that's the white stuff is the onions it's not gonna look like that guys you can see the carrots and stuff so this is my lentil loaf and the extra paper that's left on the outside is gonna help me to pick it up easy out of the pan it won't stick um yeah and then you just rinse the pan and put it away you don't have to wash it because it will be clean so that's the lentil loaf and like i said i usually put on top i put a glaze of um i make some sugar-free ketchup which i don't think i have any more left um <clears throat> sugar-free um, barbecue sauce i should say i do have sugar-free um ketchup but um yeah, I'm trying to go the healthy route. So I'm wondering if I should just try to, um, I don't know, make something from scratch and not use the ketchup, you know, or, but yeah. But we have barbecue sauce here, which we know is loaded with sugar. Um, I like to use a sugar-free one. And I don't seem to have it, have any. We have some sriracha. You could make some sriracha with a little bit of barbecue sauce and some sugar-free ketchup. So I think I might just do the sugar-free ketchup with a little sriracha mixed together and you put on the top. It will look prettier with this. I'm going to be honest because the color um, when you mix them. But guys, I want to go the healthy route. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's not keep you here doing, you know, wasting time. Let's stick this in the oven and go take that walk I'll be back okay guys so i'm finally going to go take my walk let's put a little something my lip it feel dry and plus so we can look a little decent you know <laughs> i just grab one grab a lipstick too. <clears throat> there goes my lip balm i was looking for it and then it's, it's over there anywho i grabbed this i saw the color and i said if I'm wearing this, because even though it's 55 right now, and it's feel warm in here, I don't know how it's going to be out there. It's still winter, and I don't want to be sick. As you guys know, I'm getting over being sick. I want to be sick, so I don't want to go out there without covering my chest. I have an undershirt on. <laughs> and um, I have sweats. Um, so, yeah, ready for my walk. Guys, I love to go for walks. But I don't like the cold and I live in New York. So this is why I fall off the track. I'll be on track in the summer, spring, summer, winter. Wait, come on. Because I eat bad and give up. <clears throat> That's the end of that. Turning 50. Next half a century. Half of. Is this a century? 10 years of a century? 
I think. <laughs> okay, the, the half of my um, what am I saying? I'm gonna look that up, guys, because I don't I don't want to be on here sounding stupid. But you can always correct me. Um, the next half of you know, I'm gonna be 113. Mark my word. I'll be on YouTube. Still add my marbles and everything. But anywho, yeah, so this is the fit. Black sweatpants, black sweat top. I don't know if you can see black and white Nike. And that's it. I'm gonna Grab some sunnies because guys it's so pretty outside. I don't know if you can see the reflection. This is not um, any, this is just sunlight coming inside. So I'm going to put on some sunnies, your coach sunnies. And yeah, that's it. That's the fit. Nothing special. This is what I've been wearing all morning. And I just throw this on. And that's it. So that's the outfit of the day. And I went down and started laundry. Just keeping you posted and keeping you up to date and what's going on in my life. And I'm kind of procrastinating, guys, because I have a lot of stuff to do. I have to get in touch with the man um, I did my photo shoot with. I have to send him one of the, choose one out of the 52 he took. Send that back to him, email that to him, which I thought I did, but I sent it to his landline instead of his cell phone. <clears throat> didn't realize until he didn't respond. So that, I have to get in touch with the music man. I'm talking about my birthday, guys. My birthday is coming up. And choose, let him know I want reggae and I, I want a little bit of Beyonce and a little bit of, you know, Rihanna and a little bit of this and TikTok music, all of that. And, and you know, but I have to fill out something online for him. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to do my list and make sure I have not more than 40 people or less than 40. I want to have 40 people because we're paying for 40 people. I have to do that. Um... Yes, yeah, so I have to get in touch with these two. Do do what I have to do for these two people today. So I have lots to do, and I'm think I'm kind of procrastinating, <laughs> making lentil loaf and all of that. All right, but I'm gonna sit down when I come back from my walk. I'm I'm proud of myself. I'm I, I'm doing good because I make lentil loaf. I'm going for a walk. I start the laundry, and I'm gonna when I come back. I'm gonna sit down by the computer and take care of these things. Um, pick out the songs and. You know, like people, name of people. Like I'll put Rihanna, Beyonce, so he knows, you know, not because I say I want reggae. That don't mean I don't want a little bit of R&B. Um, which I think he knows that. But just to be specific, so I'm not sad at my birthday thinking he's not playing what I like. Um, what else? So that's it for today. There's always tomorrow. Yeah. We'll see what we get into tomorrow. So let's hit the road, Jack. Guys, remember I tell you it's gorgeous outside? Can you see how beautiful it is? Look at the sunlight. It's a gorgeous day. Feels so good. <sighs> feels good out here and it feels good taking a walk, you know? I love doing this stuff, guys. I'm telling you, in the summertime, you're going to tire. You're going to be like, that's all she do is walk. And why is she outside all the time? Because that's what I do. Yeah, love it. Love being outside. I have a gym membership. I don't know if you guys know that. And I don't go. I don't like being inside. But I got it because I figure in the winter, it will keep me. And then plus the weights. You know, I like to lift weights as well. You know, which I do periodically pick up my um, um, eight pound weight and I have a 10 pound and periodically I pick them up and, you know, even yesterday and do a little bit of something, something. But my favorite thing is walking. Love it. I used to love jumping, jump rope too, but that messed my knee up. I'm not doing that. I'm done with that. That's my past. But um, love walking. Also, um, love boxing. I haven't done that in a while. Um, I used to do that. That gave me flat tummy. And I know people might be like, how can I move in your hands? Yeah, it's a whole body workout, guys. And then I hold my tummy in when I'm punching. So I had, you know, so it tightened up my belly. And when you drop weight, you lose weight off your belly anyways. You know? Me, if I go down to like 175, you'll see ads. Of course, I'm having enough protein and walking and working out you'll see hats at 175 <clears throat> because they were coming in at 183 so 
so I'm definitely going to go down to that um, 175 because I want to you know of course if I put the workout in do the sit-ups the whatever and burn the fat off you'll definitely see abs because we all have abs we just can't say it because we're fat <laughs> yeah but and I'm not saying fat call myself fat to be mean to myself I'm just being real and telling you what because that's what it's called right fat cover yeah it covers our uh, abs and you don't see your shape and what you have underneath because it's covered by fat well here you go. let me keep walking and um i'll see you when i'm done or see you if anything happened that i need to let you know about all right so yeah i don't know what time it is right now let me check that <clears throat> Because I have the lentil loaf in the oven. It's 144. Call it 145. We'll walk for 30 minutes. Lentil loaf should be finished. And I think I changed my mind. I'm gonna put um the a little glaze on top, sugar-free ketchup on top, a little bit of something, something. And then yeah, because I don't want it to dry out and um it's in there for a while. It's on 350 though. I didn't put it up high because you know it can be eaten just like that. So half an hour, it should be cooked. It's already in there 15 minutes. If I walk for another 30 minutes, it's going to be in there 45 minutes. Put a little glaze on top for another 10 minutes. Turn it up and then take it out. So that's what's going to happen. All right, so it's up to you how long you want to cook it. It could be anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour, depending on your oven. But don't turn it all the way up, guys not necessary all right so yeah all right bye-bye see you soon hey guys i'm back from my walk it was awesome 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 loved it and uh <clears throat> i walked past 40 minutes so i came back i took this out let me bring it close i took this out i put some ketchup a little bit of barbecue sauce sugar-free ketchup a little bit of barbecue sauce and um some sriracha on top with some parsley um, on top and put it back for, you know, seven minutes on 500 because, you know, I cook it on three. We cook for an old hour, guys. I'm going to cover it with foil to so it can sweat and bring back the moisture to it because I don't know if um, I let it dry out too much. Yeah, I was having a little bit too much time, fun out there. Um, the the um, paper burn when I put it for um on 500 you know it's just hanging in there it's not damp if you want your paper not to look like this which I don't know why you care you're gonna throw it away once you take this out you can just put a little water on it and once it's wet it won't burn but who cares right but anywho yeah that's my lentil loaf that's what it's looking like so I'm gonna um put a piece of foil like I said um you know it will do a little sweating so it will you know conceal whatever moisture is in there or bring back some to it so i'm hoping it's not dry out because if it dry out it will crumble yeah so <clears throat> i haven't made this in a while but i think i did an awesome job um yeah i'm excited to eat it guys i know i know no question about it it's delicious because remember i tried it before i put it in the oven but it's just to make it into a loaf. It's not like it was it was uncooked or whatever. I put it in the pan to get the shape, you know, to get the look of it. So that's lentil loaf. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it in the pan. Let it cool. Um, it's now 2.50 p.m. I'm going to let it sit there for however long, maybe till 8 p.m. And then I'll stick it in the oven. But I'm like I said, I'm going to cover it with some foil and um, let it do its thing beautiful i'm excited to eat tomorrow i'm gonna make some potato and um some asparagus and have my lentil loaf so that will be my dinner with some champagne tomorrow for valentine my husband i think i'm gonna go out and get him a um, a steak i'm making steak potatoes maybe potato salad i don't know if it's going potatoes potato salad but one or the other We'll have the same meal, except he will have the steak and I'll have this. Um, it's Valentine's. I don't want to push him to have this because I could have said, this is dinner and give it to him. And he will try it. He will eat it. But um, it's a special day. So I want to make sure he's feeling good. 
So I'm going to go get him a piece of steak. Um, um, we have frozen shrimp, but I think they're small. So I'm going to see if I get some big jumbo shrimp at the store tomorrow. And since we have shrimp in here, I'm not going to buy it. I'll just buy six big jumbo shrimp. I have skewers. I'll put it on skewer and make it a dinner in champagne. And we'll have dinner in champagne at home tomorrow because he mentioned going out, but I don't think we're, it's Tuesday. We want to go out on a Tuesday, not me. So we'll do something on the weekend and all of next week he's off. You know, my husband is a teacher, so he's off from school. So all next week we can do stuff, you know, of course, important stuff as well as fun stuff. Try to squeeze some fun in and go visit family members. So guys, I start my salad while the, when I came home, the lentil loaf was still going. So, you know, I take it out, put it back in and whatever. And um, I start prepping my salad. So this is what I'm finishing up right now. And I'm going to close this video out because <clears throat> it's going on an hour. <laughs> you don't need to sit and watch it all, you know, even though that's life. That's my life. You know? um, sharing my life with you. So, yeah. So what I'm doing right now is getting a bowl to my, I'm going to show you the salad in a bit, um, to my olives. I'm gonna save some. This is my favorite olives, guys. And if you like olives, give this a try. Any supermarket has it. Um, so I'm putting some on my salad and I'll show you the salad. It's a whole bunch of lettuce, different type of lettuce. And um, um, here it is. It's a whole bunch of different lettuce. It's a big bowl. Um, as you can see, the purple, the, you know, a whole bunch of lettuce. It's just lettuce. Um, onions, yellow bell pepper, which I don't love. Red and green is my favorite, but I'm not unsure the way it came in the pack and I'll eat it. It has nutrients, vitamin C. Um, red onions, favorite, everything on here. I, I, I love it. But like I said, the, um, red and green peppers are my favorite. I'm also going to eat an old avocado. Mm-hmm. I might do half, but I think I'm, I'm going to have the whole, maybe, we'll see. I might have one or half and then have that off with dinner or just put the whole thing on this and just chow down. So you saw what I have earlier. I had the oats with apple and coffee. That's it. So it's time to flow with the body. It's almost three. It's um, seven minutes of three. Um, so I'm going to chow down on this big deliciousness. Salad. If I put the, all of this, then I'm not going to use any dressing or add with some balsam. I don't know, guys, but thanks for watching. Come back and hang with your girl and see what I'm getting into. Um, of course, if I have time tomorrow, I'll be making a video. So come back and see what I get into. So, um, yeah, like my videos. Please subscribe, like, watch and like the other ones and come back and mess with me. Bye.